Hello, welcome to my Let's Play of Senshin I.O. I have not read anything about this game, so let's learn it together. I became an engineer because I wanted to make things. But after I graduated, the reality of the world caught up with me. That's just not something we do in this country, not anymore. It took me a while, but eventually I realized it was true. I'd have to go somewhere else. Somewhere I could do what I was meant to do. Sension. Live camera, light rain. Temperature, air, drone activity is moderate. Well, that's good to know. Got a home button, back button. Concept mail. Welcome. Dear new employee, thank you for joining Sension Long Ten Electronics Company. We aim to become a world a world leading company in the electronics industry and a respect respected brand with products in home offices and public spaces across the world. Long 10 Electronics was founded on the following principles. Number one, diligence. This means both diligence in your work and diligence in your life. When you encounter a problem, do not give up. Even if you are talented, by working at it every day, little by little, you can achieve the goal. Number two, connections. The process of creating electric electronics is the process of creating connections between different components. In the same way, we do business by connecting with other people. Therefore, it is important to always be making connections in your work. Number three, sal, sal, we're, <laughs> uh, they always have to put goofy words in these games. Salubrious. <laughs> an unhealthy mind creates an inef inef inefficient design. An unhealthy body builds a defective product. Follow correct eating, correct behavior, and correct thinking in order to maximize your potential. Salubriousness. That's what it is. Please keep these principles in mind as you contribute to our efforts. Okay, we'll do, boss, sir. Welcome from Carl Ten Tensi. Ah, uh, fresh meat. Just kidding. Welcome to the southern China. It's all right, I suppose. Except that heat and smog and lack last lack of decent cheese here in Sin, Sin Xin. Still far better than any engineering gig I can find back home in the UK, though. I'm assuming you ended up here for similar reasons, Carl. Welcome from Joe. Yo, I heard you're our newest ace engineer who's going to kick ass and take names. Am I right? You probably heard of about me already, but I'm prob I'm the product guy who loves to find amazing opportunities and make deals happen. So let's do this. Welcome, greetings, and welcome to the team. You've already, as you've already been made aware, we're on a major international expansion effort, and are very eager to see you bring your skills and expertise to your company. To our company, Lili Wu, Vice President of Product. Welcome from David. My name is David. I was brought here to help Long Tin in its international push. Though I've only recently moved here from San Francisco, where I should point out is a very, there is a very b vibrant Chinatown. I'm already loving it so far. It's truly fascinating to see a culture at once so ancient, so modern from up close. I am sure we'll be working closely together to create many successful products. The international product manager. Welcome. My name is Jai Shang. I'm a chief staff engineer, your boss. I've not managed many foreign for workers before, so please understand if I make a mistake here or there. Anyhow, I will send you your first job shortly. Read the manual. I know you're good at engineering systems and life in general. You haven't had the need to read a manual ages, right? Well, trust me on this. You really, 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 really want to read the manual here. Even better if you keep it handy as you work. Don't be like that non-manual using person who quit just before you started just because and whose name shall never be uttered again, Carl. 
product, fake surveillance camera. Create a working design for this product to view histograms oh, and leaderboards. This product is an imitation mock security camera. It has two blinking lights. The first light blinks in a regular pattern. The second light blinks in is an internet light, so it should be blinking in a more random intermittent pattern to resemble data upload. As you will notice, the design is partially complete already. A previous engineer left quit before finishing the assignment. Note the timing diagrams in the verifications tab. When you simulate, your output should map to the expected values as indicated. Let the simulation run for four full test units, test runs to make sure you have a proper solution. Security camera. I'm absolutely certain you'll do better than the last person. Well, how could I not? Unless I quit. Create a working design for this product. Okay, open in concept CAD. Before we do that, let's look at the other stuff. Control panel, resolution, full screen, sound volume, music volume, auto format code, whatever that means. Data sheets. It opened up a PDF. Let's see what this says. For the best engine IO experience, we highly recommend printing this manual and assembling in a binder so you can refer to as you play. Assemble the binder in the following manners. Oh, good. Story documents. Place inside front packet. Front inside front pocket. Insert in front the cover page. Fold into quarters. Three hole punch. Application notes, language reference, part data sheets, supplemental data, engineering notes. Maybe I'll print it out if I get really into this game. All right, language reference card. So you have no op, move, jump, some test goo, some arithmetic goo, some registers. I don't know if I need to. Oh, this is like, this is like a prequel story garbage. All right, so some progress and a suggestion. Maggie Fish. Good morning, just a quick update for you today. First off, I've placed your resume with two new agencies. They specialize in industries a little different from yours, but you never know where a match might be made. I've also reached out to a few of my colleagues across the country, letting them know they can keep in touch if they hear any of anything. Finally, I followed up with Electromotive again and they and they keep stalling. At this point, I think it's safe to say an offering off or won't be coming because you're pretty sucky at work. You've been with us for a while now and I appreciate your trust, so I want to be honest. The likelihood of us finding you something that generally makes use of your skills in the foreseeable future is rather low because all you know how to do is clean dishes. It isn't because of any lack of qualifications in your port part. It's simply a reflection of the reality of the time. Well, keep trying. We'll keep trying, of course. I just want to ensure you some realistic expectations in, in mind going forward. You may want to work at McDonald's. I know you've said you hope to stay in the country, but it may be time to reconsider that stance. Many people we represent have done stints overseas and reporting that it's an eye-opening, in some case, career-enhancing move. I don't have a lot of context in that particular arena, but I can point you in the direction of someone I know who has experience working with Chinese electronics firms. Let me know if that sounds interesting to you, and I'll get you to introduced. P-F-P-R. Fish Partners Recruiting. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Jesse Huang. Just let... Just, hey, just wanted to follow up on our call. As I mentioned, the company's called Long Ten Electronics. They're not exactly the, one of the biggest players, but they've running a stable business for a while now. That's a good sign. Up until now, they've mostly done manufacturing subcontracts. So traditionally, their design engineering team has been relatively small. But they're looking to grow the department because they want to create new products in-house, both for domestic and international markets. The position located in Shenzhen, Shen, Shen, Hen, <laughs> Shen, <laughs> Ugh. 
Shenzhen, China, is just across the border from Hong Kong. Pay, the pay is competitive for the area, which I think you'll find more than adequate for living there. I forgot to ask if you had a family, but whatever your situation is, you'll find Shenzhen is a modern, fairly international city. There's even a McDonald's right downtown that you can go work at if you suck at this job. If there's anything I might be able to, to do to help you feel more comfortable with the idea of relocating, let me know. I've helped many engineers like yourself find opportunities in China, and I'm pretty familiar with the ins and outs. I'm looking forward to hearing from you once you've had the chance to chew it over. Connecting talent across the Pacific since 2021. 20, what are we, like, way in the future now? Visa applic application. For the People's Republic of China. Embedded system engineer. Date of first entry, 2026. Nice, we're 10 years in the future. We're going to stay at Beyond Non Road. Okay. Very good. Application notes. Simple I.O. goes from 0 to 100. Simple I.O. pins are unmarked. Simple I.O. is used for connecting a microcontroller simple output. Xbus, discrete data packets from negative 999 to 999. Simple I.O. pins can be read and read anytime without regard to the current state of connected devices. Xbus, however, is a synchronized protocol. Data over Xbus pins is only transferred when there is both a reader attempting to read and a writer attempting to write. If a, re if a read or a writer is attempted without the corresponding operation on a connected device, the operation will block. Be sure to get enough sleep. Nice. CPUs are typically much faster than the signals they're reading and writing. A CPU can execute a very large number of instructions within one time unit. To advance the beginning of the next time unit, a CPU can go to sleep. To put your CPU to sleep, use the SLP, sleep, instruction. Specify the number of time units to sleep. The following program generates a sine wave, a square wave. On pin one, that is on 100 for three time units and off for three time units. Move 100 to pin one, sleep for three time units, move zero to pin one, and sleep for three time units. No problem. The following circuit is a reference design for a touch-activated light controller. When a user touches a capacitive switch, the controller will detect the edge and advance the light to the next intensity from off to 50%, 50% back off. Language reference. All right, let's read this thing. First, the microcontroller reads the capacitive switch from simple I O P zero. So, test if that's e if the ACC is equal. Test if the accumulator is equal to zero. Detect an edge and touch. to see how these tests work is this like is this like the positive and this is the negative case i wonder how it jumps in the goofy video you could put labels down i think yeah you can like jump to end you can like write labels let's look at these tests Yes, these are plus instructions effect. So if A is equal to B, 
then it's enabled. My structures are disabled. See conditional execution on page two. What the heck is that? Here it is. All instructions are capable of conditional execution. Prefixing with instruction with plus or minus will cause the instruction to be able or disabled by test instructions. When an instruction is disabled by a test instruction, it will be skipped and will not consume power. Instructions with no prefix are never disabled and always execute normally. All conditional instructions start in a disabled state. A test instruction must be executed to enable conditional instructions. Okay, so this example is, so it does this test. So it tests if this guy's zero. If it is, then it does this test. The test if it's 100. If it, and if that is true, then it moves one into the X1. Otherwise, it moves zero into the X1. And then it sets, moves P0 into the accumulator and sleeps for one. Detecting rising and edge. Detect a rising edge in the touch. So it's trying to, I think, adjust X1 right here, depending on if there's a rising edge is really what the comment's trying to say. Advance the state. Oh, it's SLX. Do, 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 do. This is super fun. Sleep until data is available to be read in the bus. So it reads the bus. Specified by the operand, okay. So it's trying to read for sleep until this is able to be read, x0. Yeah, so x1 was connected to x0. And then test if that's 1. If that is 1, if it is 1, then add 50. What does add 50 exactly do? So just add it to a register. Yeah, it changes the accumulation register. Registers can store. Da, 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 da. For example, if ACK contains 800 and you do add 400, then the value of 999 will be stored. Okay, it doesn't overflow, yes. That is nice. Subtract and store in the ACK. Multiply and store in the ACK. Not. If the value is zero, then store 100, store 100, otherwise store zero. Isolate the specified digit in ACK and store it in ACK. Like everything operates on ACK, huh? Let's look, let's read about registers. Registers are used as source, sources and destinations for data manipulated by the MCC instructions. Said registers. ACK is general purpose register used for internal compu computation. All arithmetic operations use and modify the value of ACK. DAT is a secondary register used on some family members. It can be used in most contexts where ACK is permitted. That's probably for like more advanced craziness. You can use DAT. Pin registers P0, P1, X1 through th and 0 through 3 are used for reading and writing the pins. Null is a pseudo register. Reading from null produces value zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can move between registers. Let's move and jump. It jumps to a label. You can sleep the amount of time in a register or a specific integer. Or you can sleep until the bus is there. Can add, subtract, multiply, not, and isolate a digit. Set the digit of for the first operand by the second operand. Just by the first operand. Hmm. Examples of digit. So if this is zero, TGT would say I want this. Okay, I want the the zeroth is the first one, the tens or the uh, ones column. Digit of one is the tens column. Digit of two is the hundreds column. And then this guy is, oh, I want to set this guy to this, to seven. So depending on where you set it, it sets the seven in the right spot. No problem. 
Test if it's equal, test if it's greater than, test if it's less than. Compare. Yeah, that's just a compare between those two registers. Okay, we know all the instructions. Hooray. Reduce microcontroller to help bomb costs. The MC4000 is a flexible and versatile alternative cousin. The MC6000 doesn't decide. Nine lines of program memory, one register, two buses. Da, 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 da. MC6000 is the more complicated version of it. With a bunch of buses and a DAT one. And this is all craziness that I'll read later. These are all special circuits for special goofy tasks. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Looks like the game gets kind of complicated. At least in terms of all these like advanced circuits. All right, let's just see if I can get something done in this game without looking dumb. I'm sure I'll look dumb. Let's see, open CAD. Trying to make fake, fake surveillance camera. Active and network are simple outputs connected to LEDs. The control and network outputs with a fixed repeating signal as indicated in the verification tab. Where is magic verification tab? Like the, the shitty one that like, didn't work. I don't see where the active sample. Active and network are simple outputs connected. LEDs. Let's see, move zero to P zero, sleep one, move one hundred to P zero, sleep one. shit on and off. Now how do I read? Looks like it wants to sleep. I don't know, it looks like a four. And then it wants it to go on for and then 
sleep for one and move it on and sleep for one. Alright, look at that. Yeah. I'm so good because I can read up and down lines. You've successfully completed your run test run. Nice. Take that. Okay, that's a good stopping point for the episode. See you next time on Shenzhen.io.